Hello, um, I'm just answering another question here. Um, I think if I just go onto my YouTube account, um, I got a question from Liquid Venom again uh, regarding UV maps. Uh, here we go, just turn on UV maps, and yeah. Uh, the thing about how I unwrap stuff is that it's really sort of Maya specific because uh, I use this tool here called. Uh, Zebra, oh, I think it's Zebra UV. Uh, I I just say Zebra, <laughs> uh, but you can pick up this thing from a uh, Creative Cache. If you just type in Google uh, Zebra, it'll it'll be on the first sort of thing, um, and just click that. Uh, I think you have to sign up to this in order to download it, but it's genuinely worth the uh, the download. Uh, but I think it only goes up to Maya 2011. So I found out about this thing in 2009, and uh, yeah, that's why I use 09 for unwrapping because I just yeah, I have it installed. I have quite a few plugins on this version of Maya, and uh, yeah, I just use it for sort of making these game res modules and unwrapping them. Um, so, without any further ado, download that, install it into your Maya, uh, and you can make like a little shelf board up there and stuff. and the first thing you want to do is hit this uh, select edges button. That's going to take uh, into edge mode. And um, the idea of unwrapping is that you want to hide the seams as well as possible. So what we tend to do is um, you got to put them on like the inside of the arm, on the inside of the torso, stuff like that. There's places where the camera wouldn't usually see, um, but you know you do have to add the seams in visible areas, but I like to try and follow the different forms of the muscles, like going around the shoulders and whatnot. Um, and I just feel like that's a bit, a bit more nice. Um, but all I'm doing here is clicking. If you double click using this tool, it's gonna sort of run down like edges. Uh, if they're complete lines, like I double click here, you see it just like auto completes. Um, but what I'm trying to do is here, I'm trying to select a sort of. Uh, and try to make this arm into a cylinder, um, so to speak. Like um, it's got these two ends, like where the shoulder is and where the wrist is. And um, I just finish this line here to better illustrate this point. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to think about what this uh, shape is going to look like flattened out. And of course, I've got the um, the sort of ends of the cylinder where it comes round the here uh, under his armpit and round his shoulder and the other end where it comes round his wrist. You know, that is a cylinder in a sense, you know, that a cylinder is a long round sort of object, right? And then I put this line underneath his arm running all the way through. Um so what that enables us to do is that I've basically drawn the border edges, which is um you know like I've actually already unwrapped this, but if you click the uh the unwrap button here Oh, I'll just click it. Right, what you're going to notice now is that if you come to UV textures, uh, you'll notice now that I have this, which is literally this arm unwrapped. And you can see what I meant. This is the wrist here, where I drew that edge loop all the way around. And that is the shoulder here, where I drew the edge loop around. And these two lines here are actually the, uh, the this side of the line and that side of the line, where it's being cut in half. And what you when you try to draw these edges, you're just thinking about literally the border edges. This is what these called, and it's sort of in this flattened out form. These are the border edges, and this is what the uh, this tool works by. You draw the border edges on, you hit unwrap, and then it automatically comes through here and uh, and flattens them out uh, using all different kinds of projection stuff. Um, it, it does a properly nice job. Um, Flawless, uh, it's real nice, uh, and that is that's pretty much how I unwrap stuff. Really, um, a quick thing about hands uh, I notice a lot of people um, often do each individual finger, uh, which is fine. It really does depend on like what what your hand looks like. You know, if there's a ton of ton of detail on the fingers, you know, then for sure. You're probably going to need that extra sort of control, but if you're doing human hands, then I often just like literally, depending on how you've made the hand, I, what I use is I use cylinders and I just literally copy and paste and push and pull, so they're all exactly the same. 
and I get this really nice sort of seam where I double click the fingers. If I double click the fingers, uh, you'll notice now that it's just selected, you know, this entire loop or line of um, edges that I can quite easily join up to this uh, this wrist edge loop here. Same with the thumb, uh, make sure it's joined up here. And uh, same with this little palm bit here. And when I click on wrap, you'll notice that we get this sort of, uh, these two islands here, the top of the hand and the bottom of the hand. And these do UV really nice. Um, it's just nice, it's instead of having like, lots of seams along the palms, it's just so much nicer to have full objects. So just what your aim of this is to try and make it as neat as possible to hide the UV seams as well as possible but also have as less seams as possible so less seams the better but you know you do have to um, make the decision of you know where, you, where you're going to put these seams um, and then that is that's pretty much the UV mapping in a nutshell um, there's just no other way to teach it really, you just think about the placement of your seams, like I'm putting, running this seam underneath the tongue because you will, you barely ever see that, you know what I mean, but obviously you know I, I have to continue with the seam so I'm literally just running it round the silhouette of his boots you see that, like, they see I know because I've made this model uh, this is the edge of his, his shoes so uh, I think that'd make quite a nice place to put a seam because of the uh, the differentiation between the shoe and his uh, his calf muscle uh, it's going to be different anyway, different colour so uh, it's probably going to work quite nice and uh, to finish this seam off I'll just put it on the inside of his boot uh, like so and I'll just do the, the same on this side here uh, but um, there's all sort of things to be aware of really um, for instance when you're doing the face um, Try it. Maybe you know. Maybe you want to make the face a bit bigger in in size in 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 terms of you know the proportion of the body and stuff. Because you know faces often carry a lot of detail in them, and uh, often it gets lost when uh, you sort of have a a uniform sort of size of texture. I'm just going to unwrap and see what we're going to get here. Um, it's looking pretty nice. The bottom of the shoes. Um, that is the. The, uh, the straps, side of the shoe, the heel there. So, you know, it just it's a really nice way of just quickly sort of, uh, you know, just getting all these pieces together. And I think it's a bit buggy this sometimes, but if you click uh, this mirror edges, um, let me just wait until this, I mean, I just because my plugin's expired on this other thing. If I click uh, this button here, you should copy this edge selection over here, but sometimes you get kind of sort of pretty freaky uh if I can see here it hasn't quite um grabbed the uh, the edges as well. Um that should do it. Uh you just have to be aware that uh, it sometimes can't sort of you know select the right areas sometimes so I think that looks okay. Click on wrap again and no, you can see now that I haven't quite got the wrist selected. Um, let's check out the other side. Is it sort of messed up over here? Mm, no. Hmm. This is why I don't like hitting that button because uh, sometimes it just screws everything up. Uh, you can see here it hasn't quite joined on the wrist. Uh, that looks cool. Unwrap and. Um, yeah, cool. That is perfect. And all I need to do now is a body. But that is essentially UV mapping in Maya using Zebra. Uh, I highly recommend using this plugin. It's pretty awesome and it's free. So the downsides are nothing apart from the installation. The installation is a pain in the ass. Uh, but there is tons and tons of step by step guides. Uh, that is that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much it, man. Um, I hope this has been helpful and. Uh, if you have any other questions and you know feel free